hello guys welcome to another video in the previous video we learned about different types of grafting in this video we are going to learn about the biology of grafting and the tissues involved in grafting union such as uh, bark this layer is known as bark then uh, phloem then cambium then xylem then wood these are the tissues involved in graft union that means bark phloem cambium xylem wood uh, here you can see the vascular cambium vascular cambium is meristematic tissue located between the xylem and phloem in order for the graft to, to be successful the vascular cambium of the scion must be physically touching the vascular cambium of rootstock that means vascular cambium of scion and vascular cambium of rootstock must be uh, touched. Here we can see in the picture uh, this is bark and uh, this layer is um, uh, phloem and this uh, thin layer is uh, known as vascular cambium and this is xylem and this portion is um, woody portion. So this is uh, this is vascular cambium which is very important for formation of new um, xylem phloem. Then uh, here are some terminology related to uh, graft union such as callus. Callus is a mass of cells developing from the wounded scion and root, root stock. Then compatible. A root stock and scion are said to be compatible if they are sufficiently related in a botanical sense to form successful graft union. Then graft union. The place on the grafted plant where the scion and root stock are physically connected to each other. Here you can see that um, uh, cleft grafting and uh, sign and root stock uh, heal together. Then healing of the graft and bud union. The cambial layers of a root stock and scion brought into intimate contact. That means uh, scion and a root stock must be uh, intimate contact. They are held in place by wedging, nailing, wrapping so that the parts cannot move about to become dislodged. Then the graft union is thoroughly covered with plastic or cloth tape or better by grafting ox to keep out of air. Then uh, uh, union heals by callus production from young tissues near the cambium layers of the both rootstock and scion. Here you can see the cleft grafting and uh, uh, this is uh, this is the uh, root stock and this part is scion then uh, this is uh, this part is um, uh, cambium and cambium uh, produced callus callus formation occurs then uh, xylem phloem generated from uh, hair so this is the uh, healing process of graft union then uh, steps in healing Tissues involved are the xylem, phloem, and cambium. Uh, callus from uh, stock and scion fill the space and interlock to form callus bridge. Callus cells in line between stock and scion cambium change into cambium cells. Then new cambium produce xylem and phloem in wound to establish a vascular connection. So this, uh, this is these are the steps in healing healing step. Then. Uh, the biology of grafting we know that uh, the biology of grafting contains three events three events first one is addition of the rootstock and scion then second one is proliferation of callus as the graft interface callus bridge then last one is uh, vascular differentiation across the graft interface so this is these are the uh, uh, three events of grafting then uh, uh, five steps of grafting steps in graft union formation first step is lining up of the vascular cambium of rootstock and scion held together with wrap tape staples nails or wedged together then second step is wound response wound response means a necrotic layer on cell deep forms on both scion and stock undifferentiated callus tissue is produced from uninjured 
parenchyma cells below the necrotic layer then callus forms a wound uh, peridrum which becomes uh, superized to prevent entry of pathogens then necrotic layer uh, dissolves so this is wound response then callus bridge form formation callus bridge formation callus proliferates for one to seven days callus mostly comes from scion due to basal movement of auxins and uh, CHOs uh, etc uh, that is carbohydrate uh, and ex exception uh, uh, to this uh, is an established rootstock uh, which can develop more callus than that from the scion addition of scion and stock cells with a mix of pectins uh, carbohydrate and uh, proteins probably sec uh, secreted by uh, di uh, dictysomes which are uh, part of the Golgi bodies in cells then fourth stage is um, wound repair first the xylem and then the phloem is repaired occurs through the differentiation of vascular cambium across the callus bridge then process takes um, two to three weeks uh, in woody plants and last stage is production of secondary xylem and phloem from new vascular cambium in the callus bridge important that this stage uh, be completed before much new leaf development on scion or else the leaves will wilt and the scion may die so these are the five steps of um, uh, graft union that is a biology of grafting and then uh, here in the picture we can see and uh, if we think about uh, this is a clip grafting and uh, this is the uh, part of uh, scion and this is the part of uh, rootstock then uh, rootstock and uh, scion attached uh, together and here is the uh, uh, zoom view in, in a zoom view we can see that first step production of callus tissue parenchyma cells by both graft components stock and scion in the cambium region that means in the cambium region both uh, uh, both uh, uh, both uh, rootstock and scion attached uh, together in the cambium region then second step uh, uh, inter uh, inter uh, inter uh, mingling and uh, interlocking of parenchyma cells that means uh, in uh, parenchyma the cells are interlocking each other uh, both scion and rootstock with um, uh, cambium vascular cambium then third step uh, differentiation of certain parenchyma cells of the callus into new cambium cells connecti connecting with uh, the original cambium in the stock and scion that means uh, callus formation occurs and uh, 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 new uh, new parenchyma uh, cells uh, uh, formation uh, occurs through the uh, this callus formation and uh, uh, between the uh, uh, rootstock and scion then uh, fourth step production of new vascular uh, tissues by the new cambium um, uh, permitting passage of nutrient and uh, water between the stock and scion that means uh, vascular cambium um, cambium permi uh, permission gives that um, that uh, nutrient and water transport uh, through the cambium or um, um, uh, through the xylem phloem uh, by from the uh, callus formation so this is the new xylem and new phloem uh, produced from the callus bridge or uh, produced uh, uh, by the uh, ca vascular cambium so these are the five steps of uh, graft union then uh, there are some limitation of grafting uh, such as uh, same family but different genera a few cases have completely successful same family different genera then same genus but different species many such graft combination will not unite then different cultivars uh, within same species almost 100 uh, percent that the graft combination will succeed so these are the limitation of grafting uh, so this, uh, this is all about grafting and uh, that's all for today uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching